Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm a product marketing manager and I work for Google Store. SEO stands for search engine optimization. When someone has a curiosity about anything in the world, they go to Google and they'll search that question. Essentially, what a SEO specialist or professional does is understand what people are searching for in their respective market and their respective business and how do they answer that question that allows them to be at the top of the page. And Google has created this algorithm that allows um, businesses to compete for that space in the most organic fashion that doesn't um, get overridden by paid advertisements and sponsored posts. So the purpose for search engines is to provide an answer to a certain question. It delivers either a product, an answer, information, or a service that people are curious about and want to have more information about. If you rank highly on a certain topic or keyword query or search query, then you're more likely to get those traffic visitors to your page, which then you can uh, optimize your page even further to convert those people to sales if you are selling a product or a service or you can increase the engagement on your page if you're just providing information that you want people to take a part of. So if you're optimizing your page for SEO, you will get more visitors and traffic to your page. One of the most common issues that people find with a page that isn't optimized is that they're not getting traffic to their page. If they're a business that relies on selling products online, that means that they're not gonna make sales because no one is finding their pages, unless they wanna put marketing dollars and spend uh, money to push their page up on top of search results, uh, they can do that, but that also has a lot of capital and a lot of small businesses can't afford to do that. So a free organic way to do that is SEO. So if you optimize for SEO, you can organically and in a free way push your content higher and get that traffic flowing into your website. Hopefully those people will convert and you will make more sales. So there are two types of SEO. There's the user-facing SEO component, which is about content and keywords and what people actually see on the page. And then there's the back-end SEO, which is more on the technical side, which is about site speed and site performance. Some low-hanging fruit for SEO optimizations for your own page is to really look at keywords that are really relevant to your page, to your business, to your industry build content around those keywords and around those search queries that you know that people are interested in about. If you can provide an answer, such as a blog page or informational uh, page on your site, then that can be used to funnel traffic into your site. Uh, you can also look at uh, keywords that are relevant. Uh, there are a lot of free tools out there that you can search, search uh, certain industries, and those industries will have the top keywords per industry or per market or per business. Um, and if you haven't already incorporated that, then you can start building content around those, those topics. So if you want to understand how your website is doing in terms of SEO, uh, there are a lot of free tools out there that provides a free audit that showcases how fast your page loads, what steps and actions you can take to decrease the size of the page, which means your page can load faster. If you can increase the speed for the page when it loads, then you'll have a better user experience. So one piece of advice I would give uh, for people really interested in SEO or seeing if they want to pursue SEO is to understand that SEO is always changing, but the bottom line still stays the same. It's trying to understand the customer, what they're organically interested in, what they're organically curious about. And if you can focus on that, then you'll have a successful career in SEO.